just to, to push back a, a moment on, on that, the, the Wall Street Journal had a front page uh, uh, headline this morning. You may have seen it, uh, uh, Mr. Vice President, but it, it said climate focused investors. In other words, the investors you'd like to see who focus on these long term risks missed the oil and gas rally with the S&P energy sector up 54% this year compared to 21% from the S&P 500. Now, you could say that's classic short-term thinking, but uh, yeah. it's it's the reality, as you know better than I, for investors. So how, literally, on a day when um, you're saying you have to think long-term, the journal writing for its investing public is saying people who were in these Climate focused funds got slammed and missed and missed an energy rally. What do you say to them? Well, you, you said it yourself. They, they missed a short term rally, but that doesn't change the long term reality or, or even the midterm reality. Uh, we are seeing uh, nations around the world uh, ban the burning of coal, quite a few of them. We're seeing nations pledge uh, net zero uh, futures. Uh, and perhaps more significantly, David, the, the cost of electricity uh, from solar and wind was cheaper than electricity from new fossil plants uh, in only 1% of the world uh, the year before the Paris Agreement. Five years later, it's cheaper in two thirds of the world. Three years from now, it will be cheaper in 100% of the world. There have been far more uh, new fossil fuel plants canceled than, than built because the new technologies are better and cheaper, more economical, uh, and they do not uh, pollute. Uh, so um, the same thing is happening, by the way, in the fossil fuel, uh, uh, the second largest market they have, and that is transportation. Electric vehicles within the next year and a half to two years, some of the most popular model categories will be cheaper in the EV version than the internal combustion engine version within four years in all model categories. That's why virtually every automobile manufacturer in the world uh, is switching over to electric vehicles. We just had a huge new investment here in Tennessee from Ford, uh, uh, others are following along. Uh, uh, and the, the fossil fuel companies are telling the markets that Yes, they appear to be losing their first and second largest markets, but they're going to make it up with more plastics. <laughs> Petrochemicals is their third largest market. 75% of that is plastics, and that's not working out so well for us either. Uh, and, and so this uh, short-term rally may delude some people into thinking that the, the trend of history may be making a U-turn. It, it's not. What we're doing in using the atmosphere as an open sewer is literally insane. The scientific community has been warning us in ever more dire language that, that we are threatening the survival of human civilization. And by the way, we're seeing with the flooding in the Northwest today, with what happened in the Northeast just a few weeks ago, 93% of the American West is in drought, half of California, 100% of California, half of California in the most extreme form of drought. Six of the seven largest fires in the history of California all took place last year. This cannot go on. And as someone famously said, if something can't go on, it won't. And markets have to adjust to this reality. That's why investors are stepping up uh, and that's why a lot of companies are making 100% renewable commitments, uh, beginning with the consumer-facing companies, but others are under pressure from their customers, their employees, their families, uh, their peers. Uh, this sustainability revolution, uh, we're in the early stages now, uh, is the largest new business opportunity in all of history. It has the magnitude of the industrial revolution coupled with the speed of the digital revolution. And anyone who is distracted by a short-term flash in the pan uh, because of the uneven recovery from the pandemic uh, and the supply side uh, problems uh, with the ports and uh, fossil fuel supplies. Uh, so this is a short-term uh, flash in the pan. The, the, the trend of history is very much in the direction of sustainability.